Howdy ho, everybody. I can feel the phlegm in the back of my throat, so I'll be doing the mic when I can. Uh, just not going to be possible the whole time. Stuffy Cornet 99 poop. Okay. I'm going to take the mic off. I'm going to go try and clear my throat, but I'll, I'll put my mic back on if I I'm just... I'm going to try and get a few things done. Uh, peace out. Okay, I can still feel it. I still got some crap back there, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk for a little bit. He's linking to a bed. Alright. I think I played this yesterday. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I gotta try and figure out where I was now. used to my other this, this is why I usually don't play more than one at a time but I, I really like where I'm at on that other one so I don't want to throw it away 
If the villagers keep screwing up, I might abandon it, but uh, I'm tired of rebuilding shit that, that was working because Mojang can't make a, a good product. Watching Corrales on Hermit Corrales right now while I'm doing this. I like watching these people that are really good at it. It kind of gives you like ideas and inspiration, which is nice. I want to make sure there's nothing here before I leave. Like, where I'm at right now, stuff could technically still spawn in here. And, uh, so before I want to leave, I want to make sure I'm not leaving these things staked out for, uh, a buffet. This Corrales, he really does make some nice looking stuff. Let's take this to 800. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm leaving the diamond because I don't have any uh, fortune on my pickaxe yet, and I'm still working with stone tools. I can't get the diamond right now. I'm currently working on some villagers. I got three tool smiths started, so until I can get some diamond tools from them, I'm just... Um, I took some redstone because I actually needed it, but anything I don't absolutely need, I'm leaving until I can get a Fortune 3 tool. Uh, tool. I think I've only been playing, I think I've been playing this game less than a week. I just don't have a whole lot right now.
Hey, I don't want anything real specific, but like, where are you from? Like, uh, East Coast? Uh, like, if you're in the U.S., are you from the Eastern Time Zone, uh, Central, Pacific, you know, or are you from another country? Okay, cool, man. Uh, I swear I've run into some people. This is what I think is cool about the internet. I've run into people who uh, either, like, uh, this one here is meant to be a, meant to be a solo game, but they've jumped in on, uh, they've, they've friended me, I've friended them, and they've jumped in on uh, one of my games, and they don't speak English. And I'm just like, oh, my God. You know, you know? so it's like I've actually snagged, uh, snagged some people from outside the U.S., uh, one of them, I, I swear, just by the way she was talking, it sounded like she was like either Australian or uh, from New Zealand or something like that. Um, I, you, you're more than welcome to hang out. Um, I just got on here and I am trying to stream for a purpose, but I usually only play for like no more than an hour or two. Uh, I might not be able to play right after I got some health issues and I get kind of lightheaded even sitting up and playing. But if I'm not too lightheaded, when I've done this for about an hour, I would be willing to try and join a game of Skyblock. Um, that that would be, but I, I need to get this done. Uh, but yeah, when this is over, like I've been streaming for 13 minutes. When I've got at least an hour in, if I'm still not too lightheaded to play, I'd be willing to join in. Shoot me a friend request, and then when I I don't want to do it when I'm on screen like that, when I'm streaming like this, because uh, right now I'm not set up to edit anything. But send me a friend request, and then when I get done streaming, it should still be there as a reminder, and I'll reciprocate. And then if I'm still feeling good enough to play, I can join then. I've I've kind of I got to be honest with you, I haven't really played Skyblock, but it looks interesting. I've seen some of the Hermitcraft guys do it, and it actually looks pretty fun. And I, I got to be honest with you, I usually don't jump in when I'm asked to because I'm very limited with the health problems. I got to have a very limited time that I'm actually able to play. And if I accepted every game request I got, I wouldn't get any done. But I actually have been interested in that sky block, so I would be willing to try that. Because that's something genuinely new that I'm interested in, which is kind of cool. This happened on the last game I started. I was basically looking for a... Um, I don't really want anybody joining on this. This is a solo game. And part of the reason for that is... Um, on the one game where I have let people join, my villagers and all that get screwed up. And I don't think it's anything they're doing... But I really don't know. I could be I could be griefed, and but I think it's glitches. And since I'm trying to do this for a reason, I really can't afford to have stuff. And I, I think it's glitches from uh, Mojang. I don't think it's anything any of them did. I really don't. Mostly because I can't see how... Uh, I honestly don't understand how somebody could screw that up. I'm not finding any evidence of something. 
but I think what is happening is the game is getting screwed up just because multi multiple players are on it, and uh, like because the one game I'm on, I the, every every day I've been on, I've been it's been like three days, and I've been able to get on that game. The whole time has been spent killing off my villagers and breeding them so I can have my trading hall back, and I think it's I think it's bugs and glitches from Minecraft. And I, I'm not blaming anybody, but for this one here, this one I can't ha afford to have screwed up. I really need this one to stay okay. I. No, this is the thing. They weren't stealing anything. Yeah, I'll send you a message. You don't have to stick around. But, yeah, I, I, I don't think they're stealing anything. Like, the one guy was even helping me. I got to be honest with you. I think the one guy, he, he, was, he wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm sure he's a younger player. He wasn't doing anything wrong. But he bred like 100 dogs. He just kept breeding dogs. He thought he was having fun. That might have been what screwed it up, but it might not have been. But... Um, it could have just been because it happened right after he did that, and right after they just did that hot fix, like the fourteen point six. But it was one of them that screwed it up. But needless to say, and and what it was, there was either one or two villagers that were glitched. I think they're getting corrupt. I'm not positive, but I think they're getting corrupted, like the chunks are when you see those floating blocks up in the air. And until I killed off the right villager, none of them would work. But as soon as I found the problem villagers and killed them all off, everything started working again. Ooh, I am right under a lava pit. But yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you a message when I get done either way. If I'm able to play, I'll let you know. And if not, I'll apologize and let you know I, I need some time to rest up. You take care and have a great night. Okay, yeah, I got the alert. As soon as I just don't want to do it while I'm streaming. I don't I don't want to open that up for when I'm streaming. Yes, I, I got the alert that you had sent me uh like if you can see this now. All right here. Yeah, you it says right here you followed me, so I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to add you as a friend when I get done. I I just don't want to open that up with the way the world is. I just don't like opening up certain things when I'm streaming. Otherwise, I'd I'd add you as a friend right now. I wish we lived in a better world, but unfortunately we don't. Yeah, when I when I was talking to someone that I've played with, uh, I played with him since I was on the PS4 on the console edition, and I was letting him know that I was gonna because he's been telling me to do it for a while. I really don't think I'm all that good, but I, you know, I told him I go, yeah, I think I'm gonna start putting some of my videos up on YouTube, and he told me he goes, uh, he goes, if you're gonna put them up on YouTube, he goes, start over, start from the beginning, and show everybody what you're doing, and I'm like. And I told him, I go, yeah, I go, because he said it's a really fun idea. I go, no, it's not a fun idea. I go, I think it's a good idea, but I don't think it's a fun idea starting all over. And because uh, every now and then I, I forget that I don't have a leecher in this game, and I end up jumping off something a little too high and crashing into the ground. But um, he told me, he goes, I've played with you for a while, and he goes, if I didn't know you, I would never believe you do the stuff you do in survival. So he goes. 
uh, start from the beginning, show them everything you're doing. And, and he goes, because he goes, a lot of people are not going to believe you do what you do in survival. And I go, yeah, that's fair enough. On some levels, starting a game over, I usually start a new game every couple years. Uh, starting a new game is okay. I mean, it really is. And, and on some level, it is fun, but on some level, it's frustrating. Because, like, you know, normally when I find diamonds, I can just mine it. But now when you start over, it's like you got to make that choice. Well, do I want to take them now or do I want to wait until I get fortune? And I, so I'm going to wait. Unless I absolutely have to have them for something, I'm going to wait until I get fortune. The one guy that I, see, I usually leave them there, the one guy I play with, as soon as he gets a silk touch... What he'll do is he'll mine them with with silk touch, and then he'll stack them up by his base until he gets fortune three. So, so he'll harvest them, and then he'll. So what you do is if you go by his base early on in a game, you'll see like a stack. Maybe he'll sometimes collect like fifty to a couple hundred blocks of uh, diamond ore before he gets his uh, fortune three, and he'll just have this monster pile by his base. <laughs> I, I'm not going to make any promises, but down the road, I was actually thinking about doing this as down the road is starting a Skyblock game and inviting, you know, and do that as like a follower game or make a, I might make a special, I might make a special follower game only and do it like once a week, like maybe follower Fridays. The only problem is if I'm going to do it, I want to find, they don't have to be good. I don't consider myself good either. They do not have to be good players. They don't have to be fancy. I just want like four or five people that'll be there regularly. You know, have you know? I don't. You know, I don't. Maybe maybe all five of them don't have to be there every week, but I'd like a handful of people that are going to be there regularly, so it'll be a group thing. And I want people that are going to be there to play, not to screw around. Like, um, there was one guy that uh, he jumped in my other game. He he was a nice kid. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. He was doing age appropriate stuff. But all he wanted to do is get you to build stuff for him or get you to... He was used to playing creative. He wasn't used to playing survival. And he basically was looking for people to cater and do everything for him. And that just doesn't work for me. Uh, I, I don't want to play that way. And then like that one that was on the other day, all he did was breed dogs. I want people that are going to be there to play seriously and have a good time and just not screw around too much. And if I could get that, I would do like a follower Friday game where we could see what we could build, you know, something where we would just get in together once a week and try and build stuff creatively and see what turns up out of it. So if you're interested in that, just uh, keep in touch, and as soon as I can get a couple other people that are like-minded like that, um, that would be kind of a fun thing, I think, to put up on YouTube. I think the last time I was on, uh, I built, this is technically a villager breeder, and it isn't finished. I don't want to fire it up yet, but that, oh, that's the, I'm playing like three different worlds right now, and I don't play all the time, and uh, so like I, like, I, and I'm positive I just played yesterday, and some of this is the health issues that I got going on. Uh, but I built this. This is what I needed the redstone for. Uh, I got to make something real quick. But I made this uh, village breeder, and I still got to put like a containment thing, like a fence or something to hold the ones in. But when I get this done, and this is the reason I mined the redstone, there is, and I hope they, I don't really care if they change it. Right now there is a thing in here where these mine carts do not want to exist right next to each other. Like, if I try to push this one in, if I try to push this one in, he is not going to want to stay there. Like, I cannot push this guy in far enough to get a block, so I need a piston to push that, uh, that composter over for him. 
and I didn't want to do it until I got the because I want him to be able to trade potatoes. So I wanted to get so that's locked in. And then uh, what I need to do is get a piston, and that's all you have to do is push that. Uh, all you have to do is push that thing over with a piston. What else do I need for the piston? Okay, cobble. And so that's what I was working, but I, I put that together last time, and then uh, I just, by the time I got around to it, I wasn't feeling good enough, and I just needed to get off the game real quick. But it took me, I've been here 26 minutes, and it took me that long to remember what I wanted to do this time when I got on here. And then everybody else, like those three were original villagers. Uh, those four were original villagers that I managed to salvage before they died, you know, before they got killed from like zombies and that. And if you look around here, I have a cactus perimeter around the whole thing. I was going around uh, harvesting cactuses until I got that. That's what I spent the first couple days doing on this thing. Later on, they will more than likely get... If I don't decide to go to a different wall or a different village and take that over, this is the first one I found, and it's right next to an outpost over there. So I can actually pretty soon make some kind of a raid farm and start getting emeralds to trade with these guys. But, uh, and as soon as I get enough eggs, I can make an egg farm and possibly a chicken farm. What did I have the glass at? Here we go. Let's see, what'll happen is if I can. This is actually, like, if you play, this is something you're going to want to, if you want villagers to trade with, um, there are better ones out there if you want, like, a ton of villagers. But the bed is covered with glass. These guys are in mine carts, so they will be able, unless they change the game, they will be able to sleep in those beds. They can get to their workstations, but the workstations are covered. It should be too high for anybody to jump up here, so the new villagers will not be able to jump out on top, and you can always put more on here, you know, high, make it higher. So the baby villagers won't be able to go anywhere except for right here and out here, and then they will jump down into the containment area. And so all your little baby villagers will be here, and there are other ones to be sure. And if you need a lot of villagers, by all means, you want to, like Silent Whisper makes a really good one. But this is a really cheap and easy one to start when you're just starting out. And, you know, you, you can feed them. They'll spit out a few. And then by the time you get done with those, you can have it spit out another few. It's a nice little basic villager breeder that works pretty good. You can even make it lower to the ground if you have honey blocks. Because if you make it, if you make it one block high and you put honey blocks down here, they won't be able to jump back up because the honey blocks won't let them jump uh, a full block anymore. And so you can you can do it that way to keep yourself uh, in the clear. And I just need emeralds right now, and then pretty soon I will start getting uh, iron and diamond tools from these guys. Hey, you know what? I got a half an hour. I mean, I've been on for a half an hour. I got this done. I did a, I did a little bit of mining. I'm not trying to do a lot in one day. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Uh, get your Skyblock. Uh, like, where do we got to go to play Skyblock? I'll kill this now because I, I actually have been interested in Skyblock. Um, so I'm just going to kill this stream now and call it a day because... Uh, I'm not really, the main thing is I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. So this way I can take a break and let that roll around in my head. And I'm still lightheaded enough. I have wanted to try Skyblock, so let's do that now. Okay. Um, just give me a minute to shut the stream off, and then I'll be awaiting, and I'll, I'll uh... Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, just go ahead and invite me. Give me a minute to shut everything down, and then I'll go ahead and join. Invite now.